Walk home to school because we've got the lollipop ladies. Yeah, the well, lollipop ladies we? there. Um, we did have problems when we first moved to the school about the traffic. It's quite a busy road that the school's situated on, but we managed to get a petition. The parents and other people in the area. I feel that the community has benefited by working with Living Streets because they're more aware now of the, of the local area. The children are more active. They've also helped us to, to lobby to reduce the speed limit outside the school. And in 2012, the speed limits can be reduced to, um, to 20 miles per hour for the safety of our children. The lorries and the cars were going too fast and we were frightened in case the children uh, ran into the road and got um, knocked over. And at the top street as well, where the crossing is, It's been good. Yeah, Hell that's yeah. pretty slow. <laughs> that's pretty good, that. We've been involved with Living Streets and the Get Active project, which is trying to encourage our parents and our pupils to walk to school more. Up until probably the walk, I hadn't had much um, knowledge of the scheme um, until we got the flyer, mail shot things from school. Um, but I think it, it did prompt a lot of people to do the walk because of the, um, the want to participate you know, to keep healthy and get the children into it, away from their toys and games and all sorts, you know, so to give them a bit more healthy living. And also to explore areas that we'd never been to before, which are close to school and which we've used since. So it was nice to, to meet up with other parents as well. Highfield is actually three separate communities, uh, but because of this programme, it's actually brought those three communities together to give them that strong collective voice which is actually needed to get improvements made, uh, especially in today's climate where it's harder and uh, more financial restraint is on local authorities to actually deliver programmes. And one of the um, successes was a health day that we uh, organised together in partnership with Living Streets and the community and the school that took part in they are thinking of making it an annual event so that was quite a positive thing which came out of this partnership working. I, I believe the community street audits that are carried out in partnership with their local residents via Living Streets are an excellent tool uh, for local authorities to utilise on. Um, we've carried out several within West Gateshead which is the area I cover and uh, a lot of the local ward councillors have actually utilised these to uh, lobby for highway improvements where previously they wouldn't have been able to do that. So without this partnership with Living Streets, we wouldn't get what's actually needed in the communities. Everybody's got a busy life and I don't have a chance when I do my fortnightly groups to get a chat or talk to people personally. So when we're out on the walks, it's lovely because I have a one-to-one -to, -one to them. I've been doing the walks and over the past year with them and I signed the pledge in March. It's motivated me to do more walking. So we have walked up to the local park when it's been a nice day, Try around the village. Just because Ellen does quite well with... Because I've had both hips his... replaced, so I needed to get out and walk more. So that was the reason I signed the pledge. Um, the pledges have worked really well. Everybody's been commit committed, and um, it sort of gives people an incentive, really. Well, you converse with one yeah, another. They're talking to each other. They might know something of local knowledge that you don't know. I seem to sleep better and I enjoy being out in the fresh air. I wouldn't know any of these walks if it wasn't for belonging to the group. In Stroger's Wood, it was quite marshy and muddy and we've had a couple of walks up there and everybody was absolutely filthy <laughs> when they came back. And um, due to... Um, living streets, they actually put a pathway along there. Way, well, been good, hasn't it? Right, Marie, I'm very pleased uh, on behalf of Living Streets to present you with this uh, Twitter for Walking Award in recognition of how you and uh, your group have helped to make the, the route to this school safer and got people in your community out walking more. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.